Yo, uh, hey everybody, how you doing today? And welcome back. I got my coffee here. Mmm, tasty, tasty coffee. Whew. All right, how you guys doing? Good to see you, Lego. Samid, welcome back. BBB and Jake, what's going on, Duke? Excel, good to see you. Keodes, welcome back, Keodes. This is gonna be interesting, Red Builder. To say the least, I can only imagine. I don't know exactly what to expect. What's inscription again? Uh, Tando, that's the one you gifted to me, actually. You gifted me this one. <laughs> this is the card game. It's more than just a card game, though. Is it some type of horror? No, it's not horror. How's it going, Samid? Good to see you. This was a B-Day gift. Exactly, yeah. Hey, yo, Thomas, how you doing? Good to see you. And yo, you're still on there? Maybe. Oh yeah, on the uh, <laughs> on the leaderboard. <laughs> First time being early. Well, glad you could make it. Uh, so yeah, today we're gonna be playing some Inscription. It's a brand new game on the channel, and uh, it's a few months old now. The game has been around for a little while, but uh, I I have seen a little bit of it on a couple other streamers' uh, streams. It was very interesting. I haven't seen a lot of it though, so uh, it's still gonna be quite the mystery to me. Yo, Zach, good to see ya. Creepy, dark looking card game, exactly. That is exactly what we're gonna expect here. Um, so yeah, I don't know, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it, but it is exactly that. It's a, it's a creepy card game. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna get us it's gonna get as good, I think. Uh, so I'm gonna load up the game here, and uh, we will hop on in before you know it. Yo, you lowest, what's going on? Whoa, Keyotes! Holy! Funding for a <laughs> laptop. I still hope for a cooking Damn, stream. Damn, Keyotes with a hundred stream. Bob, the cooking stream. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? One day we are gonna have to do that. I mean, I will tell you though, I do have a laptop. It's just broken right now. It has some problems. I would love to do it though. You love this game right on, Classy. Yo, LG, good to see ya. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna stop the music here. We're gonna switch on over to the game. Let's see if uh, this is all working. I have some coffee while it hopefully loads up. It'll happen one of these days. It will. It absolutely will. <laughs> you joined the Discord right on. So this is it. Here we go. We are about to start this journey together into Inscription. I'm excited. It's been a while since I've just played a new game. It's been a while. I've been playing the same old games for way too long. Best title screen ever. <laughs> Jaden, how's it going? You wanted to say hi? Well, it's good to see you, NS. Uh, so here we go. Let's start this up. Daniel Mullen Games. Daniel Mullins. Grab your popcorn. <laughs> okay. Time to figure out what's on this thing. Yo, Warper, good to see you. You've never seen this game? This one's gonna be a treat. I can tell you right now, it's gonna be a treat. Oh man, this is gonna be good. It was the Dono or more Discord Nitro. <laughs> well, Keots, thank you so much for the 100 bomb, man. You crazy. None your business, welcome back. Here we go. New game. Continue. Okay, well. I haven't, uh. It's not letting me... Well... Wait. I have not played this yet. Why? Okay. Options? This is so... Weird. Is it telling me that it's just forcing me to continue? That's weird. 8-bit music? 
Ben Mun, what's going on? Floppy disk, what's a floppy disk? <laughs> Rip headphone users, is this loud? Is it loud right now? Wait, is this loud? Let me know if it's loud. Another challenger, it has been ages. All right, Mambo, good to see you, love you. Perhaps you may have forgotten how this game is played. <laughs> I don't remember. All right, they're gonna remind us. Play the squirrel card. You guys can see that, that is in fact a squirrel. Now play your stoat. Okay, I have to use the keyboard. S. So I can go back and forth. Okay, okay. Is it a horror game? Um, some might consider it to be a horror game. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Okay, so that's what that blood is. So we kill that. And now I can play it. Easy enough so far. Wolves require two sacrifices. Oh, well. Ring the bell to end your turn. Oh, yeah, so I can only... Okay, we'll end it. So this is an interesting game, though. This is... I don't know if you guys are familiar with, like, games like Hearthstone and stuff like that. Um, but... Or even, like, old-school Magic the Gathering. Uh, it's kind of similar. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is the attack power. Okay. It isn't much of a horror game? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> You're still dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. If you win, you win if you tip my side all the way down. Oh, so we just won. <laughs> you just had a storm roll through? So here we go. This is our first, our first uh, interaction here. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. So what do I do? Do I just click? Oh. <laughs> my coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is two less. Quick maths. <laughs> Bose, how's it going? If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. Sounds logical to me. Are you hinting at an MTG arena stream? No, I am not hinting anything. You are filling in the gaps right now. It's your turn again. If you draw from your deck... Wait, you may draw from your deck or you may draw a squirrel. So this is the squirrel icon here, I guess. So we can either draw a squirrel or that. We can't sacrifice anything, so I guess we'll just draw a squirrel. How dull? Oh, come on. <laughs> He's not an MTG kind of guy. Spicy Bacon Twirls reporting in Dark. How's it going? <laughs> This is one of your favorite games, is it? Um, so we'll just pop down... ...a squirrel. Can I sacrifice... ...both of these guys? So what if I... ...sacrifice both of them? Oh, he's mad. Not removed from your deck. It's... Suffering was real, but you will see it again. Ouch. So I wanted to just pop this down right here. That's what I'm thinking. And I ring the bell. Ooh, big hit, big hit. Mad Wonder Kid, what's going on? So three damage dealt, three weights on the scale. And yo, Turt, good to see you. Because you are learning, I will pass. What a gent. Again, the choice. A random card from your deck or the certainty of a squirrel. Let's take the only other card. The River Snapper. Okay, well, we can't play anything else. So I guess we just end the turn and I think we win. Yes, we did. Yo, Jado, good to see you. Love you. Tap for mana. Nerds in the chat. All right, so we won. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. Ooh. You were lost deep in the forest. Ah, uh, that's us. A single path revealed itself. Ooh. 
Is this coffee time? Is it gonna play for me? Oh, am I? Do I just, oh, okay, I click here. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. What does it mean? The caustic adder, damage from its poison bite is always lethal. The undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. <laughs> You're the best, I lost my first card battle. <laughs> okay, don't. I don't think I need to be patronized right now. I'm sure this is not gonna go well. Only one may grace your paltry deck. I kinda like the cat. I like the, I think I'm gonna go with the cat. It doesn't attack, but you can, it's just like a better squirrel, right? What does right click do? Is that is right click gonna keep it? Mm. The sounds are so cool on headphones. Hey James, how's it going? Uh, I think we'll keep the cat, right? I think I'm gonna keep the cat. Another creature joins your caravan. <laughs> cat, cat, cat. Are we getting you guys being nerding out in the chat right now? Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. Hence the cat, I guess, right? Interesting. You come across an abandoned sack. So this guy is the best narrator ever. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break it in case of an emergency. Okay. So that's our power up there. OG teardown. Yeah, they are like they're like pixelated a little bit, right? I Yo, think dark. the spicy bacon twirl card is missing in this game. <laughs> Better contact game dev. I'll get I'll get on that right away, Dark. Just for you. Oh wow, he gave us a second one. Yo, Dark, thank you so much for that super chat. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much for that support and generosity. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. This is a bit of a tutorial. Don't we hate? <laughs> so uh, I guess we're just gonna carry on through the map here. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. We've got Watching a boulder. Watching two streams right now. I guess I need to pick one too hard to follow. Yo, Dead Tool with the five. Yo, thank you so much, Dead Tool, for that super chat. Good to see you, and thank you so much for that support. You, you, you got two streams on the go? I'm sure you'll make the right decision, Dead Tool. I'm sure you will. Thank you so much for that super chat, though. You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe you'll help me. See? He agrees with me. Play along for now. You may now see my moves ahead of time. So is it my turn right now? <laughs> so these stumps just don't do anything, and I can't quite tell. Fledgling, a card bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful one after one turn on the board. So I have a boulder there for no reason. So I think we just want to get... You are lacking sacrifices. Oh, I have to sacrifice for the cat. Okay, we're going to put that there. And then sacrifice it. Game looks interesting. Yo, P3, how's it going? Um, so the cat... I kind of just want to put in the open spot, right? Oh, wait, no, I don't want to put it... Oh, I guess it's too late. Damn. <laughs> Whoops. So, wait, so if I... So, wait, do I want to sacrifice the... I guess I kind of wasted... So the cat just stays there, does it? I'm slightly confused right now. Yo, Cube, how's it going? Unknown Brug, good to see you. Go fish. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. So I'm gonna take a squirrel. I'm gonna play the squirrel here. 
I'm gonna sacrifice that squirrel and the cat again. So that, okay, so the cat just stays there. I can't, as soon as I put a cat down, it seems like that is where the cat goes. Play the pangling, I can't, it's in the bioreactor. <laughs> The stoat looks angry. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Ha, my bat flew right over your cat. <laughs> He's laughing at me. What is this? We have another wolf. So there's nothing I can do. Oh, this is not good, guys. This is... <laughs> I can't get rid of the bat. The cat does nothing. Play the hat. <laughs> so there's nothing I can do right now, right? Because I can't sacrifice the cat. I think I'm screwed. I could get rid of... Wait, I'm gonna... One, two, three, one, two. I think I survived this turn, right? Oh, no. Play the table flip. <laughs> You've been bamboozled. They got me good. I can't do anything. That's another wolf. If I tip the scale one more, I still lose. Oh, no. So even if I tip the scale, I'm going to lose. Because this does one. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, yeah, because he's going to do three. Oh, God. Okay. I think I, I think we lost this one. <laughs> I could do the squirrel jars. I could, but there's no point. There's no point because I was going to lose in the next turn anyway. Wasn't I? Doing this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Oh, no, I disappointed the face. Yeah, I know how you feel, Dead Tool. That would be a nice one. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. From the candlestick? That? Bring it here. Oh, God. Look at him. Look at his hand. Oh, God. Right here? Now sit back down. I could have gotten the two wolves out. I think the problem, though, was that the bat was going to kill me anyway. The bat was going to... Or, yeah, the bat was going to kill me anyway. It didn't matter. So this is quite the environment. Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another one, another, I must sacrifice you. Oh, God. Points work like Magic the Gathering? Something like that, Richard. That's a good... I mean, they're, it's all... It's a card game, you know? The cards with the stats. So now, where were we? So we move ahead. On the path. Ooh, two more cards. The young wolf cub. Okay, so this is the one we just faced. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. The meek sparrow, an inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. I kind of like the idea of having a flying one now. It looks like a murder. You press W on your opponent. Oh yeah, is that what I'm missing? So when I'm at the card, I need to press W one more time. Do I? Oh, what the heck? You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Okay, well the cat kind of... I'm not too sure about this cat. Let's sacrifice the cat. <laughs> you looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host. So I think this is where it's going to transfer the thing, right? 
where it can't, it never dies. Yo, Fant, how's it going? Sparrow. Put the sparrow in there. I threw the cat in. Was that a mistake? Cat? We're gonna make a super one. Super Sparrow? A ghastly spectacle. But the soul of the cat now lives in the Sparrow. Let's sacrifice the cat. Shrew 2 has it going. Alright, we're gonna carry on. What the heck is that symbol? Oh god. Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. That's not good. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. <laughs> Am I not supposed to be listening to these? Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Oh, God. Uh, so it's my turn first, is it? Okay. Um, I have a squirrel in my hand already. Okay, oh, there it is. Okay, so this, so they're airborne, so we're gonna, we're just gonna put something here, right? Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, what? Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna break a squirrel. I'm just gonna use one of these squirrels before I, like, just die, right? Because otherwise, like, just, I died already before, and it was a waste. So I would just put this guy here. Should I just... I'm not going to emergency squirrel yet, but I think that's good. Yo, Ares plays. Good to see you. Your soda just blew up. Well, why would you shake it? So my totem has granted my Cody the power of flight. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, no. Um... Can I look at the game again? So all I have is the wolf right now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the squirrel out. I'm going to put the squirrel down. That was one, two, three, four. That's only three. This will balance it out, right? So let's just do the stoat right there. This is not just a card game. So this is going to balance out, right? I'm one behind, but hopefully that will be enough. You're two damage away from winning. That's good. Well, see, now we're just gonna go back and forth, aren't we? So what if I squirrel... Okay, I'm gonna emergency squirrel again. I might be wasting everything right now. All right, just like that, snapper goes down. And that's all my cards in my hand. Yo, Rhino, good to see you. The game looks mysterious. It really does. Um, okay, so we're just gonna grab a creature here. Ooh, it's our special one. Did I... Did it get rid of one of the flying ones? Does the snapper get rid of flying? Did I miss something? I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't do anything else, so let's just end the turn. Yeah, this is a weird one. This is an interesting game. Oh my goodness. Uh, I guess we're gonna get the Sparrow out. That's gotta be it, right? Oh yeah! Whew, we did it. I did kill one. Wanting better from YouTube. Wobbly life. No worries, Cube. No one expects you to watch everything. So, <laughs> live your life, man. <laughs> Knock on wood. Alright, we're moving up. Three cards this time. The reviled skunk. Its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. Oh. 
The Adder, okay, we saw that one. And the Stalwart Snapper, a near impenetrable defense. Yeah, the six health is huge on that. Planet Crafter. Uh, I think we'll go with the Skunk because we already have a River Snapper and I don't think I need the poison. I like having the one blood ones. Get the Adder, oh, I did not. I mean, there's no, it's, this game is really not that complicated. Okay, so there's a fire or whatever this is. Let's go to the fire. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Oh, God. Come warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire that will enhance its power, said another. You noticed one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Okay, so we can uh, put something in here to gain one attack, I believe, right? You've barely scratched the surface. I kind of want to put the snapper in there. Just to have like a mega tank with uh, some big damage boost, right? Do I? I have no choice but to do this, do I? The fire warmed the poor river snapper, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed to their teeth. Oh god. Are they gonna eat my turtle? Without a word, you pulled the river snapper away from the fire and left. I don't trust this. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to the skull here. Is that just a fight? So what do we have here? Grand fur. Oh, so there's just like a tree in the way. I see. So we're just kind of fighting in the area of a tree. So I used all of my squirrels quickly. That's not good, but not a big deal either. And then what's that? That's a grizzly bear. Oh my god. So if I put a squirrel here, well, I guess it doesn't really matter, but if I want to sacrifice him... Would I put him here? Is that what I want? I think that's it. Oh god. Okay, well that was... <laughs> that was short-lived. That was a misplay. A huge misplay. I'm gonna lose this one. Don't go again. No, this is not a horror game. Okay. Oh, this is not good. Oh my god, this grizzly. <laughs> Yo, Cackle Gub, good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. So I suppose I would I want the squirrel, right? Oh no, he's gonna... I need to leave the squirrel there. Right? Because the squirrel needs to block that grizzly. I think I'm kind of... Wait, how many squirrels do I have? Can I... Is this the technique? Am I just gonna keep on sacrificing squirrels? <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work or not. I'm just going to keep sacrificing squirrels. And let my sparrow just do the work. I think I have enough for this. <laughs> Propane, how's it going? <laughs> too fast, too soon. I know, I, I wasted my first... I should have used two squirrels at the beginning. What do those squirrels do to you? You know what, that's a good question, and I honestly don't have an answer. <laughs> but this grizzly is getting the meal of his life right now. Last squirrel... Hey, the squirrel's coming through! 
<laughs> it was just enough. <laughs> oh, another backpack on the left there. I think I want to try the backpack path. <laughs> At least they weren't going into the bioreactor. <laughs> As if that worked. I feel like that should not have worked. The Watchful Bullfrog, it leaps in the way of attacking flyers. See, this, I think I want that, right? The, uh, the no flyer one. We already have the skunk, and we already have that. So let's go with the Bullfrog. Why am I torturing squirrels? I'm like the hawk in your neighborhood. <laughs> Alright, let's move along here. A rock may get you out of a hard place. Oh, so this is just a boulder I can put down in front of something like a grizzly bear, for for example, right? <laughs> How's my day been? Yo, Animal Mango, it's been pretty good. So, oh, did he give me the boulder, or these are just options? A skinning knife. To, use, to the user, you may skin one of your adversary's cards. It is destroyed, and you draw a pelt card. I think I'll go with the boulder. Oh wow, there's even more choices to be made. Uh, we can't go wrong with the squirrel. What's up, Bose? Oh, is this a boss fight? Oh god. Our first boss fight? The knife. I didn't take the knife. I took the boulder. What was I thinking? I should have probably taken the knife. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. Too late. <laughs> yeah, a little too late. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Hee-haw! Twas the prospector! Okay, so we get a boulder. We've got a squirrel. This is the two attack one. Coyote, so the pack and mule is gonna move to the right. Does it move the coyote as well? I'll put that there. And we're gonna wait one more turn so that we can use the river snapper, right? The music's getting louder. Uh-oh. Yeah, I can hear that. Can I... Options. Audio. Music volume. This, okay, this menu system is a little... Oh, I guess I could just do the master volume. There we go. The atmosphere is amazing. It really is, isn't it? Okay, so what did I just do? I kind of missed the turn here. Okay, so that's all out. I think I was just going to grab a squirrel. And I'm going to stick the squirrel anywhere. And so with that, we're going to grab our snapper. This is the enhanced damage one. Wait, the packing mule is going that way now? Uh, we're going to go right in front of the coyote, I think. I think we're going to kill it. Oh, yeah. So he's going to attack the boulder. Let's grab a creature card. I'm kind of just taking guesses here. <laughs> so that was the skunk. What is it? The creature opposing of the card. Okay, so it's the creature opposing it. The one that's directly in front of it is going to have minus one attack there. Well, that one already has zero. I think we'll just get another, uh, we're gonna get the bullfrog out, I think. I'm gonna put it over here. You're getting bad dreams tonight? <laughs> okay, there we go. Alright, we tip the scale. Should 
Should I take another squirrel? I think I want to get the wolf out really badly, honestly. This is like the boss fight, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do what I have to to get this wolf onto the board right now. So I'm going to stick it right here. Like that. Oh, oh, we took out one of the lives. Too fast. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. There's gold in them cards. You've struck gold. <laughs> Are skeletons scary to me? Well, they can be. Well, what am I supposed to do with this stuff? <laughs> He's doing the prospector again. Easy boss, the mule's key. Was I supposed to, oh, I was supposed to attack the packing mule. That's not good, I know. <laughs> Yo, Masto, good to see you. So I made it, I made many mistakes. I'm sure. I think I'm gonna take the boulder. And I'm gonna stick it here. <laughs> I don't know. Cause I wanted to get rid of that guy. And so now I'm gonna be able to see, now I'm gonna be able to destroy the pack mule. The pack mule is gonna get destroyed. How do I get rid of the gold nuggets? This game is weird. This is a good game. So I have no room for a uh, squirrel, so I guess I'll just grab a card like that. And there's the pack mule. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. There we go. Dag nab it, my mule. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. So I got a squirrel, a wolf. I have my wolf, a squirrel, sparrow, raven, and a cat. The raven is super powerful. I think that's what I want, right? Uh, wait, hmm. I think I made a mistake. What does the raven do? Uh, the raven is a flying creature that has two attack and three health. I wanted to get the fly. I wanted to get him out, but I'm realizing I might have made a mistake. Hmm. I'm. I could sacrifice the stoat, but that would be a waste, wouldn't it? I think I'll just put the cat here. I think. Everyone loves gold nuggies. <laughs> Is it possible to change the music? Yo, Bracken, what's going on? What's wrong with the music? Is it still loud? There we go. So, I'm leading a little bit in health here. Hmm. So he's got a wolf cub coming out. That's three damage there. Wait, oh, my cat's dead. That makes sense. <laughs> All right. We're gonna double squirrel. For the raven, right? Or do I wanna get rid of that dog? Oh man, this is tough. This is tough. Snotty Llama, how's it going? That sound is better. Do I want this raven? I kinda do. 
And I'm just gonna put it above the adder so that way it can't get poisoned, right? I think? Oh, never mind. I guess it could do it. What? Well, I wasn't expecting that. Uh-oh. Well, that's not what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> Who doesn't like chocolate milk? Are you serious? So... Seriously? Yes, seriously. Oh, wait! That guy always... Mmm... Oh boy, oh boy. Well, I need... I need this squirrel. Okay, here comes the squirrel technique again. It works! I think it works! Let's segue to our sponsor. If you feel like you are making too many mistakes in your life, Spice up your life with spicy bacon twirls and get it on. We did it! Yo, Dark, thank you so much for that super chat. And you're right. I need, I need these spicy bacon twirls. I really do. Thank you so much, Dark, for the super chat. All right, we did it! Too fast? I don't think so. Yo, Kirby, how's it going? Block that bear. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Some strategy. Some long thought out strategy. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Do I look at them first? Poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed. But do you have the heart to try? So this is just a cat, is it? Is this the same as a cat? Y'all barreling would sound amazing as a super chat? Wait, what? <laughs> a largely unimpressive specimen. Strange larva. So that's the one turn something's gonna happen deal. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. Four, a bl four blood sacrifice? I don't like that. That is, four blood is a lot, isn't it? That's too much. In my opinion. What do you guys think? Get child 13? But is this no different than a cat? Is that just like a cat, though? That's how the spicy bacon twirl crumbles. So you guys think child 13, eh? You go for the center one? Child 13 is better? It's a Skyrim parody song? Oh, no, I haven't seen it, no. The Larva. Get Child 13. All right, we're going to go with Child 13, I think. Yeah, we're going to go with Child 13 in the deck. Can't think about it too long. All right, so with Sound of the Prospector's Pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. We haven't died yet. Better not jinx it. <laughs> hmm. Oh, wow. Some choices now. The rank smell of rotten mold permeated the human air. The human? The humid air. <laughs> Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. You're new here. YT Big Dogs, what's going on? Okay. Uh, so we're just going to go to the first one anyway, and then we'll make our choices. Oh, this is where we choose a card. Okay. The Adder, the Beaver, the Industrious Beaver, when played, it constructs dams adjacent to it. I'm not too sure about that. I don't like stuff filling up the board too much. The Elusive Otter, it submerges itself during my turn. This is kind of cool. This is like a sneak attack. The Poison, the Adder is good, but I like the River Otter. I like the idea of hiding stuff. You're gonna go. See ya. RPG horror card game. That's pretty much what this is. So what is that one again? The fire is the one where we can add attack damage. The backpack and that. Let's go to the backpack. 
Oh yeah, this is where we can choose some of this stuff. Okay, good. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. So that's for flying. I like the freebie squirrels. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. It's bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the bleating. <laughs> so this sacrifice will give me three blood instead of one. And another squirrel. Let's go with the goat, right? It'd be nice to cut one of the cards up, though. <laughs> the Bieber. Um, so here we go. We're going this way. Alright, what do we have here? Another tree, and they have a tree stump, and they have some bees! Not the bees! Scissors? Yeah, I probably should have taken the scissors. Probably should have taken the scissors. So I like the uh, idea of getting a river snapper out right away. I think... Uh... Wait, do I not draw a card? Okay, no, I can't draw on the first play. I see. Child 13 doesn't do damage. So, um, yeah, let's... Uh... Let's get the river otter out, I suppose. And that's the turn. Yes, the bees. <laughs> Hold your breath. I will. Okay, so the bees are flying. Ouch. Okay, that's not good. I need to get rid of the flying. Well, that's not going to help me right now. That's not good. This is not a good start. Hmm. I could sacrifice the goat right now. Good old Nick Cage. <laughs> this is a weird looking Super Auto Pets. <laughs> I've been meaning to maybe try that game, honestly. It looks like it'd be kind of fun. I don't know. You're going to be making some and sneaking them into the cinema? <laughs> Sacrifice Child 13? Don't ask, just do it. I was thinking I probably should get Child 13 out, right? Especially before it's too late. Did I draw a card? One card per turn. Don't be greedy. Oh, come on. I didn't think he was looking. Uh, Alright, let me grab the squirrel then. So he's flying anyway, so he's not gonna... I'm not gonna block him, right? So something like that? You can play with me in Super Auto Pets? It's addicting. Yeah, I've never played it. Okay, wait, so did we- we actually got rid of one of the bees, did we? Or no, they just moved? 50 player custom matches? Really? Even the bee? So we are saying we can- we should sacrifice- okay, let's see here. So if we do this... Sacrifice child 13 and the squirrel. Oh! That is good! Well, that's very good! Wow, that sucked though. <laughs> Super Auto Pets is more confusing. Wait, is Super Auto Pets is free, is it? Is it free? Oh, no. So we're even right now. I only have the red snapper remaining, though. That's all I have now. He's going to do three damage, though, which is good. I can't really... I feel like I need to do the black goat. No, not now. Draw a card first. Oh, whoops. My bad. I guess we'll draw a creature. And... Grab the black goat. Whoops. <laughs> oh, wait. I need to sacrifice something first. We'll do that. Put the black goat down. Sacrifice him. Put him there. 
And that. Okay. You can buy stuff, but it's all optional? Interesting. You prefer Magic the Gathering. <laughs> Alright, so we're grabbing a card here. We need a squirrel, actually, so why don't we do that? And we might as well just uh, make one of these bees useless, right? Because if we uh, put the skunk down here, it's going to make it zero. I think we win anyway. Oh, there we go. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. I'm not bragging or anything. <laughs> However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Okay. The raven is a beast. $20. I've seen a decent amount of uh, Super Auto Pets on Twitch, though. Uh, I, it's, still, it's still crazy. So let's have a look. Okay, that's the skunk. What are these little mushroom things growing out? So we already have these. I think I want the bullfrog, though. It's nice to be able to defend against things that can fly. I feel like that's really useful. Squirrel sack of rice? The soda incident is solved? So, okay, what is this symbol? I don't know if I've been here yet. Okay, oh, it's this one. So this is the one where we combine the attributes, right? So we're going to sacrifice something to gain its uh, to gain its special property. And I think I want to do that with the, um, the river otter. I think that having something be able to duck out is really good. Oh, whoops. Yeah, so the river otter... <laughs> I'll go. What, you want to be able to duck out? I was thinking of making a super snapper. The river snapper. Yes. Blowfish rat combo. All right. Carrying out. <laughs> You hope to see some more of the live streams? For sure. I believe in you. I'm hoping. This foul cabin. I missed it. What did he say? He's talking some smack here. So they got the kingfisher. They dive and they fly. A little bit of both. That's why I think it's going to be really nice to get the... Uh... Yeah, we're going to get this bullfrog out instantly. Right there. Yes, that's a good response to that. And I can't draw the card yet, so there we go. Sleep's calling you. All right, Keo, take it easy. Have a wonderful sleep. So, oh wait, he's hidden. But I'm going to defend. Oh wait, that's not good. I defend once. Oh yeah, mis misinterpreted that. Slight misinterpretation. Whoops. The raven egg. Oh, no. So I should have put the... Oh, okay, that's my mistake. I'll put it there next time, I guess. Darn. That's a bit of a misstep. <laughs> bit of a misstep there. By round six. You were watching past me? <laughs> this is not good. I'm up one. He's gonna deal three. Oh no. That was not a good call. Oh no. Yeah, this is not good at all. Relaxing board game vibes. Yeah, this is a pretty good ambience game, isn't it? I probably should have taken a squirrel. Because now if I take a squirrel, it's like it's not going to matter anyway, right? Unless I sacrifice the, uh, the stoat, which I kind of have to. I think I need to sacrifice the stoat. 
Oh, come on. I'm sorry, man. This I need to be able to respond, right? Oh, that's close. Now you're pulling out super auto pets. <laughs> So we're going to have to take a squirrel and just stick it here and then put the skunk in front of it so that it does zero damage, right? Oh, this is not good. Because that's going to do zero. Defend. I got nothing. I got nothing in my hand here. River snapper. Oh, it's not going to be enough, is it? I think we're gonna go down here, guys. Oh wait, I can't replace it from there, eh? Hmm, that's not good. Yeah, I think this one, uh... This one might be, uh, finito. Oh, maybe not. Oh, this is the special river snapper. Yeah, I don't think this one's gonna be uh, on our side. Here it comes. Oh my god, how am I still in this right now? <laughs> yeah, okay, now it's done. This is no good, I know. Now we're done. Whew. So that's one, that's only one though. That's only one candle out. We still have another one. How disappointing. Come on. Oh god, what is this, a bear trap? You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Care to look at me pelts? Take a pelt free of charge. Okay, thank you. And so I have one, two, three, four here. See the quality? You'll need more teeth for that one. You're leaving already? That's all I can afford! I did consider your pelts. Oh, there we go. I misclicked. <laughs> Thanks for your business. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But you mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go to the totem here. The shrine. Let's keep making stuff super. So I want... I think I'm going to get rid of the skunk now. And I want to replace it with something else here. What if it's like a wolf? Or no, you know, we could just kind of deck out the stoat. Yeah, we'll make it. We're going to give this guy some better <laughs> stats. What an honor. <laughs> so now he's going to reduce the... Uh, anything that he's fighting on the other side of the board is going to reduce its attack by one. Which I think is a big gain. Online Uno. Yeah, that's a, some good casual fun like that on stream would be fun, actually. Okay. Uh, we're starting off here. So let's, uh, let's definitely just get, uh, child 13 out right away. What does the rabbit pelt even do? Is that even gonna... Is that gonna do anything for me? How? I think I might have lost. <laughs> I think we might have lost, guys. Am I supposed to put the pelt? Oh, the pelt is just like one random HP, is it? So like, I could just pop it here? Wait, is that gonna help me though?
It happened so fast! It happened so fast! Alas, it is time for you to perish! Oh, God. Oh, he just grabbed me with those gross hands. Where am I? Oh, God. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you for a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Oh, of me. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. Ouch. We can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. So these don't have any cost, right? Technically, are these zero cost? A cost of free from the rabbit pelt. That's kind of sick, right? And another, this time I will use its power and its health. Oh my god. So we can drop like a freebie 3-2. Wolf. No cost. Right? Yes. Three power, two health from the wolf. And now we must choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. So a three, two... With no cost... That has flying? Hells yeah! This card is OP. <laughs> the pelts are important to keep. Wait, if I put a, a pelt down and it gets destroyed though, do I lose it? You got a free 7-7 seven, seven once? Wow. I never did ask your name. Here we go. It's Moonbow. There is now but one final matter, the portrait. Oh, it's me. Smile, everybody. Everyone in chat, smile. You do not. Oh, never mind. Don't smile. It said don't smile. <laughs> so there it is. We finally died. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. The resourceful possum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes. For any reason. For any reason. So if we were to put the squirrel out, let's say, and then uh, bring our possum in, that gives us a bone. We get one single bone right there. Uh, you know what? Sorry, Sto, You're going to fight that guy. <laughs> From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. I blinked. Can we take it again? <laughs> not very photogenic, are you there, Dead Duel? Um, so that is my turn. One measly damage. And, oh wait, I shouldn't have put it there. I keep thinking it's going to trade, but there's no trading in this. Why do I keep thinking there's a trade? What's wrong with me? All right, I'm going to take this squirrel out. We're just going to double squirrel. And we're going to get the wolf. Like so. Uh, let's just put him here. And now we can spawn in the possum as well. Right? Hopefully not too fast. Yo, Samuel, my day is great. Thanks for asking. So did we start over, essentially? Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. Is this the safe? Oh, that is the safe. Wait. Let us continue. I had to get that myself. I'm freaking beautiful. <laughs> All right, so we're going straight. So this is like, did we basically start over? Essentially, we started over. Is this kind of like a roguelike? The meager coyote, but what did you expect for only four bones? The nefarious rattler, a brittle creature, one past its monstrous fang, once past its monstrous fangs. Yeah, that one's brutal. 
The unkillable cockroach. It returns to your hand after dying. Ooh, what do you guys think? I don't know. The cockroach sounds like it'd be kind of nice to always have. But it costs four bones, though. But it's nice to kind of always have it come back out, right? I feel like I'm probably going to opt for the cockroach. It's nice to know that you're having a nice day. Well, I'm glad you have acknowledged my nice day. Cockroach? Yeah, I'm thinking cockroach, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. You know, you're free to get up again to keep your blood flowing. We'll carry on. How do you like this game? The game is interesting. It's different. It's very, very different. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get the fan. Another fan? No, I like the squirrel. I love, I love having emergency squirrels. They're really good. All right, so we got a bullfrog. The cockroach we're not going to be able to use until stuff dies, I suppose, right? And he's got a coyote and a porcupine coming out? Oh, God. It pays for itself? Ooh, that would be interesting. Cockroach can survive a nuclear reactor. So I guess we'll just, uh... I kind of want the bullfrog to be uh, ready to go, I think, right? And then we'll get a bone out of it as well. Yeah. Yo, TJ, how's it going? Ay, ay, ay. So we have two bones right now, which is not... Oh, God. Not enough. I'm going to emergency squirrel out the wolf here. And that gives us the cockroach as well. Which we will put here. And I think that will get rid of that guy, right? Yeah, there we go. We got rid of the coyote. Perfect. Now, we don't have... Hmm. It's like I, I could grab a creature card. Might as well. Are you smart or something? He usually doesn't even bother teaching about bones. <laughs> All right, here's a tip. I saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. Is that it? Wait, did it bring me right to it? 273? Okay. Oh, wow, okay, we just finished that fight. <laughs> that was an easy one. I guess we did start over, didn't we? If you, de if you desire it, you may stand now. It will allow me time to plan. Okay, he wants me to stand. I am no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. Is there someone in this door? Oh god, look at the eyes. <laughs> oh, okay. Free teeth. We take those. This is so much like one of those old school games. Like, have you guys ever played Myst? Old school game. This is a lot like Myst. Where's the rule book? Yeah, what is this? 273 is right there, but... Could it be for that? Two... Whoops, oh wait, oh, on the line. Two, seven... Stink bug. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape. That iron crypt. Is the stowed around? 
the stunted wolf, this madness must end. Put that away. <laughs> he doesn't like this. Instantly starts touching everything. Yeah. And a key? Wait, what's the key for? Is it for the door? Oh no, it's for this thing. Oh my god. Am I supposed to be doing this? Okay, I think these are some puzzles. I'm not gonna- I'm not doing puzzles right now. I wonder if this guy had time to plan it out. Your friend said hello. Hope you have a nice day. Yo, Samuel, how's it going? Alright, some more free cards here. The inviolable beehive. When it is attacked, you will draw a bee. We did see the bee. Wait, that's me! And the bullfrog. Well, I want me. That's a freebie. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, I think that's the enhancement one there. That's the backpack. Let's go to the fireplace. Let's go see the, uh, the hungry. A group of starving survivors stand around a dying campfire. Oh, this one's going to give plus two to health. The warmth will enhance its health. Stop licking their... Don't lick your lips. No way. So this is going to give plus two to health. I should just... I'm going to deck out Moonbow, right? Heck yeah. The health of Moonbow was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. Is there a picture frame on the wall somewhere? If you match the card layout in a battle, you get bonus cards. <clears throat> okay. You again. Uh-oh. Indeed. Our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be... I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. Interesting, interesting. So we got a boulder in the way. A spar Two sparrows coming at you. Hmm. Well, I will... I'll get the stoat out. Into the open area here. Oh man, these stoats. That's not good. So the, I need nothing but... Okay, so there's nothing but bones here. So I'm going to take a squirrel. And just pass my turn? Because putting the squirrel out right now doesn't matter, right? Because I need to sacrifice it anyway. Oh, that's not good. Jado wasn't joking. Ouch! You guys are so mean! <laughs> This one, I feel like I'm screwed. Ooh. Yes, that's what we needed right there. That's what I'm talking about. That's so good. Wow, straight to my turn? What is the aim of the game? Well, it's like a, this is a card ga strategy card game, basically. Uh, with like a persistent storyline. So it's all about like playing the card game while progressing through the, like, meta story. Um, let's see here. Squirrel. I think we're, uh, we're tied up right now. Let's take out another creature. That's the possum. I see the way this is going. I concede. You may accept my surrender. Or you may finish this match the slow way. So I think we would just finish the match, right? I think we should just finish it. The adults are talking. <laughs> I 
Yeah, we're gonna keep playing. Man, I got nothing but bones. I got nothing but bones here. All right, so right now the stoat is useless. So I think what we're gonna wanna do here is put that down, <laughs> sacrifice, and then replace it with a wolf. Oh, it's over anyway. <laughs> You're not gonna gain money if you finish now. Well, I thought I could overkill it and gain more teeth, but I guess I didn't strategize the uh, overkill there. How does the card part work? Well, like most card games, I have the most exquisite pelts. Ooh, wow, that one really rolled away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You'll need more teeth for that one? Okay, I guess not. That's good for now, I think. Much appreciated, thank you. Do I go back? I'm gonna go back to the fire. I think I, I'm gonna keep on visiting those people. They just really do a good job helping me out. This is a plus one to attack. Yeah, the power. Pick something else. <laughs> he doesn't want to be picked. I think I might just keep decking out Moonbow, maybe. Do what you must. The wolf has three attack, right? I can't see it, but I'm assuming it's three there. Let's just keep decking out Moonbow. I like it. That's me. <laughs> Terran time, good to see you. They had enhanced the creature's power. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your Moonbow. <laughs> the wolf? Nah, we gotta deck me out. All right. So strange, why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. The flash. <laughs> Look, there's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. <laughs> Biggest killjoy ever. Are they describing dead tool right now? <laughs> Yo, Cookie Gamer, good to see you. The real action is happening in the chat. Okay. Let's just start off strong with our stoat. And we're gonna get him right here before that wolf cub comes out, right? Man, I got no creatures. Oh, what a... That's the best top deck you can imagine. <laughs> what a top deck. Look at that. I think we're just gonna win. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What is this new symbol? So there's new cards or whatever this symbol is. I kind of want to take a look at this new symbol. Unless we've seen it before, but I don't think so. You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. One blood, two blood, one blood. A beehive, a random card with a cost of one. What were you expecting? <laughs> you were turned from the torture known as work of the home. You did some homework? Ah. I, it took a while to get there in my brain. <laughs> Yo, Electric X, good to see you. All right, so here we go. We're going to sacrifice another thing. The choice is yours. So we could... Okay, you know what? Let's get rid of the beehive, right? <laughs> Does this replace a sigil, or will they add them? Let's see if it adds it, just to test. 
Yes, it adds it. Oh my god. My the Moonbow card is getting really good. We're, we're every time I get hit, I'm gonna release a bee out of my mouth. I'm gonna shoot bees out of my mouth. <laughs> Yo, Jay Sanders, how's it going? Alright, we're back to I guess is this the same this is the same boss as before, I guess. My boss battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. He just took a life away from me. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. The smoke. The incessant clank clank clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Was well, this guy again? Twas the sprock for the prospector. Hee haw! That wardrobe, he almost put me in there. The top left drawer. <laughs> but the puzzle was too easy. I just pressed spacebar by accident. I just pressed spacebar by accident trying to get my hand down to my keyboard. Wow. Well, I think we're gonna lose now. I literally just pressed spacebar by accident. Oh man, are we- can we even win at this point now? Oh my god. Wait, oh I have to draw first? That's not good. Ooh, but we get the Moonbow top deck! The Moonbow top deck. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm all- I'm- uh, I'm gonna die. There's nothing I can do about this, right? Well, hold on. I can block one damage here. Right? No, wait. Oh, no. I've died. Dag nabbit. It doesn't matter, I've lost anyway, right? Wow! What the heck? I can't believe I pressed spacebar by accident at the beginning of that fight. That lost it for me because I skipped my turn at the beginning. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Can you believe that? You can do this? No, I can't! I pressed space- I skipped my turn at the beginning. Uh Where'd I put that camera of mine? Oh, I took it! Pathetic. Do you really think I would leave film in there? Do you have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. Oh god, his hand is so big. We have a mento to create. That's right, my death card. Behold your death card! Shall we begin? Please choose a card to draw the cost. Uh, I like the bone cost. Two bones is good. Stuff is gonna die, right? Power and health. Wow, this sucks. That's terrible choice is there, isn't it? <laughs> My brain's in the gutter. The sigils. What is the point of this card? It never- it'll go back to my hand. We're gonna call this one Bone Loop because it just loops bones maybe? I don't know. This is a useless card. <laughs> I know what the camera is capable of. <laughs> Yo, Ethan, how's it going? Oh my god. Yeah, no spoilers. I can't believe I skipped my turn. I feel like I was gonna probably win that fight if I didn't skip my turn. The one who came before me... Yeah, we got the stink bud now. 
Wait, what am I doing? What was that? All right, Ben, take it easy. I still can't believe that. I thought we were gonna do so good. A tribe that you prefer. So we got like a wolf, the bird, and a lizard thing. I think we're gonna go with the wolf. The Dauntless Bloodhound. It leaps to oppose new creatures when they are played. Ah, oh, see, that's one we were facing. That's a good one. It'll leap to a brand, a brand new enemy. Canine card. Did you wish for something else? No. I'll take it. <laughs> this card is great. Yeah, that's a good one, eh? Okay. An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings, then gestured at them brusquely. Choose! Okay. The smelly one. The death one. The mantis attack. I think we're gonna go with that mantis one. You accepted the woodcarver's offering. It is useless without its second half. But you intuited that this would be not be the last encounter with her. Interesting. So what is this symbol? I think we've seen it before. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. It's one of these ones. Wee. So, okay, this is the one where they go swimming. Okay, okay. Now let's try and not make any mistakes this time by skipping my turns. I'm going to take an emergency squirrel here. Because this is going to deck us out pretty good. Wait, so the Bloodhound is 2-3 with a chase. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do the uh, the Bloodhound. And we just got two bones as well, so that's going to set us up good. Oh, yeah, look at that. Jumped right over to the Sparrow. Wait, that means I won't be able to get it, though, will I? Let's grab a creature. I can't stop thinking about that wardrobe. The metal sliders. They're a bit like cards, aren't they? I guess so. So I guess we want to put this in front of that so that way we can stop taking a little bit more damage. Uh, what do I want here? I think we want a squirrel. I want a squirrel just so I can get the stoat out right away. <laughs> Keep me alive. I'll try. <laughs> There's no time for fixing typos. Yeah, who's fixing typos? Ain't nobody got time for that. So we got some more bones. The bullfrog. Uh, we're just gonna move on through. Oh, with the overkill. I'm like thinking, sometimes you're thinking this and you're like, wait, there's no point in thinking right now because I'm just going to win this fight anyway. <laughs> Have I ever played a game called Smite? I haven't. I used to play a lot of MOBAs though, but I never did get into Smite. Insect, lizard, or wolf. Let's just go with wolf again. Another bloodhound? Heck yeah, I'll take that. Yo, Sleek Prodigy, good to see you. Welcome back. Yeah, this game is very interesting. It's a different one. But I was like, you know what? I want to try something different on the channel. The old woodcarver again appeared before you. Choose. So we got the bird, the bug, and the antlers. The bug looks cool. Let's go with the bug. Oh. The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. Oh, that's our totem. Getting ready to head home? Right on. The squirrel totem head and the body of the undying? Oh, we did have the chance for the body of the undying. The bifurcated strike sigil will now be marked upon all your insect creatures. Oh, I see. So maybe that was a bit of a mistake. I don't have very many insect creatures. Bullet frog. Uh... So this just gives us more options to the left here. If we go to the left, I think I'm just going to venture to the right. Do a normal fight. 
Wardrobe. Sliders. Hmm. So we can just activate this whenever we want to. Is that... That's what it is, is it? A pronghorn. Hmm. Okay, so this guy gets this at least. That's kind of cool. Um, but I think we will get our standard stoat into play here, our boy. <laughs> you sure? Well, I got no choice now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to trying uh, Super Auto Pets one of these days. Yo, Deox, good to see you. Welcome back. Let's get the squirrel again. So, because if I put the squirrel down, I put a squirrel, we sacrifice like so, and then the stink bug goes here, and then we finish the turn. Nice. That was good. Not confused. Um, I have no creatures. I think we're gonna win anyway. So I think we just end the turn and win, right? Yeah! Your streak is gone. No worries, jeez. <laughs> Alright, let's go grab a free card. Ringworm. Ew. The underappreciated ringworm, its value is not readily apparent. Fair enough. It is an insect, though. Reginald... Reginald kind of looks like me a little bit. Uh, let's go with the ringworm. I think because we have an insect system now, right? So... I think we're going to want to hang on to that. Alright, Spacewalk, take it easy. Enhance its health. Stop this? What's wrong? Why would I stop this? Plus two to health. An, a super bloodhound would be pretty sweet. So would a wolf, though. Nah, the bloodhound is too good. Let's get the bloodhound in here. Yes. They, they The fire warmed the weary bloodhound and enhanced its health. You suspect the intentions of Cyrus were less than pure. With your bloodhound in tow, you retreated into the woods. All right. If the rest of the world had the same mindset as me, would it fall apart? That sounds like a dumb question. <laughs> All right. We get the stoat every time, eh? And the bullfrog. So the ringworm is like a sacrificing one, maybe? Is that what I am to believe, maybe? Because it doesn't do anything. Right? I'm gonna try and I just want to see what happens if we sacrifice the the uh, the ringworm here. <laughs> bad play! Ouch! I kind of suspected it was a bad play. What I what does the worm do? Yo, James, how's it going? So I guess the worm just doesn't do anything. Is that is that what's going on here? Maybe I misunderstood something. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Here comes the wolf. Bloodhound? Oh no. Oh no. This is not good. Oh no. You have me here. I surrender. I will take that. I will take that because I was not feeling confident about that fight. <laughs> I, why would he do that? There's no way. You think the worm just vibes? But it said there was some, like, some special stuff that we don't know about. So that's the uh, the raven and the egg. I'm actually not sure what that is. 
the fervid mantis. It's prying claw strike both to the left and the right. We gotta take whatever the hell that is. The oldest gets 50% of your jokes. Is that because 50% of them just aren't funny? The bones of the ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. More of this. Flight. Another head. Or swimming. I kind of like the flight. Wait, what am I doing? Am I just building a totem again? So do we just build- we just- I just build these totems from time to time? The old woman collected her pieces and shuffled off into the darkness. So I get to choose, maybe? Don't say hell? Why the hell shouldn't I say hell? Yeah, that was kind of confusing there for a moment. No, don't put the candle out again. How do you keep getting these rare cards? It's unfair. <laughs> Yo, Milton, good to see you. Yeah, this game is pretty interesting. It's been fun. A chill mist closed in around you. You were not alone. A figure emerged from the fog. Well, yeah, okay. We know who this is by this point, right? What does that ringworm do? So what is the smoke exactly? So we, it's a no-cost card. I think I need to let something kill the ringworm and not sacrifice it. I need something else to kill it, I think. Because it sounds like some type of parasite. What does the smoke do? The smoke can be sacrificed? It just gives you four bones, does it? Is that the idea? I feel like I'm gonna lose already. I'm not even gonna- wait, so why is it telling me I'm gonna get one blood? Much logic. <laughs> so if I put the ringworm here, let's just see what happens, I guess, right? Nothing. It does it doesn't do anything. See why is it I I still Okay, I'm confused. I feel like I'm like completely lost and helpless right now. You know what I'm saying? Completely lost and helpless. What am I supposed to do? I did sacrifice the smoke, but it gave me a bunch of bones, but I wasn't getting any of the bone characters. So it's almost like you have to really choose what goes into your deck. Like, I mean, it's like I have to choose between if I, like, do I want to run with the bones or do I want to do blood sacrifices, you know? If you kill the pack mule, you get a bunch of cards. What's up? The pack mule, though, it, like, moves randomly or just every time it gets attacked, it switches directions. My death card. The cost will be one single... Blood. The power and health, two and five. That's not bad. And there's only the one sigil. Okay, fair enough. You also don't know what the worm does? Jokes are wasted. <laughs> Wowza! Death awaits. That's not good. 
It's all in the moment. That's how I am. No one wants to be told to tell a joke, right? Have you tried standing up and moving around the room? Yeah, oh yeah, Wavy. We've done some room stuff. Uh, we got the stink bug and everything like that. Should you look up what the worm does? No, I'm sure we'll... I'm sure maybe the game will tell us. Maybe not. <laughs> will you do better? Your starting deck. Okay. This has been rough. You missed that one too? Don't worry, they're not gonna... They're not gonna be too worried about it. Three blood sacrifice. The moose buck. What the heck is that? Oh, this is the push to the side. Nice. That's a good one. That's got some big health. You just finished watching Sonic 2? Well, we're getting into this very fast, aren't we? Sorry, stink bug. I'm tossing you on the podium. I'll go. Alright, you can get it. Wait. Yeah, okay. We're transferring the power! Now he's a smelly otter. <laughs> the ringworm is super useful in the future. Do I- so I- do I still have those cards though or not? I- I do, right? Or maybe I don't? Wow, look at the stoat. He's looking badass with them glowing eyes now. So we are starting over, right? This is brand- it's like a- so this is like a- a roguelike kind of game, right? I feel like I need to get used to, uh... Uh-oh. I feel like I need to get used to drawing multiple squirrels, you know? Because when you only have one squirrel in your hand, I feel like you just can't do anything. You know? Yeah, interesting. Man, I love that there's just a bird fighting a tree right now. <laughs> Do I want to know what the ringworm does? It's something about poison? I mean, you guys, at the end of the day, it's not gonna bug me if you tell me. I'm not really too upset by certain spoilers, you know? So I guess we could just, uh... Draw a squirrel. I concede. Do we want to try and overkill him, though? One, two, three, four. Nah, we'll just take it. Just moving on through. <laughs> Already moved on since the time they responded. <laughs> Another card! The Venerable Alpha, its courage emboldens the creatures that stand beside it. One extra damage on either side of the Alpha. And there's the Ringworm again. But Wowza is pretty sweet. I don't look too happy there. I'm not looking too hot. Oh wait, no, sorry. That's Dead Tools picture, actually. That wasn't mine. They ended up using Dead Tools. <laughs> Alright, I think... I'm just gonna go with Wowza. <laughs> That is the secret of the ringworm. Really, Robin? That's interesting. The max is two to three. All right, Red Builder, take it easy. <laughs> we'll go to the right. Some, some bone tokens for a rainy night. Well, I haven't been feeling the bones. I think I'm going to go with the goat. We're not doing too good, by the way. <laughs> Hear my name wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so this is a no-brainer at this point here. We go straight into um, getting Wowza out there. <laughs> yeah. 
the upgrades to be exact. Yeah, I, I know which ones you're talking about. So if I put my stoat down here, then the, the pronghorn will never be able to attack it, right? <laughs> this spot, you sure? Yeah, stop doubting me. Oh yeah, so the pronghorn will never be able to attack him. Oh, until he moves to the left. Never mind. <laughs> Uh-oh, that's not good. He's gonna get a chance to attack this time. Ooh, a moose buck. Can't use it. The costs are so difficult to weigh in this game sometimes. You told me they weren't gonna use that picture. <laughs> well, I lied! It does move. Oh, we're back at the pelt guy. I got one. I'll take the freebie and that's it. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. There's the fireplace again. I'm going to the fireplace. And then I might cut through to the right, maybe? The crackling fire lit the starving faces of a group of survivors. We have enough food, but perhaps one of your creatures will join us, enhancing its power. This is the power one. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> Why not? Let's power up Yowza. I mean, Wowza. <laughs> we withdrew. There we go. Free power up. And then we're going to cross over to the right. Because we could zigzag back over if we wanted to. We got the moose right away this time. Ooh, interesting. Give him the ringworm. A mole and the pronghorn again. Interesting. Let's just get our get our bullfrog out. Out. And we're going to go straight into a squirrel. I think what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to do a triple... Yeah, here we go. We're going to do a triple sacrifice here. Watch this. We're going to go boom, boom, boom. Put him right at the end. I'm just making it up as I go along here. Uh-oh. Okay, that's not good. Give me some bones. I need bones. Oh, no. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're okay. Oh, yes. There we go. That's huge. That's quite the outcome. <laughs> yeah, I didn't grab the ringworm that time. Ooh. Evening it out. Give me a bone one. I got no bones. I think we're still doing really good right now anyway. Oh, look. He didn't even put anything out. So we're, we could... I think this is when you want to try and aim for as much overkill as possible, right? So right now that's three damage. That's three as well. So that doesn't matter. So I guess we can just hope for a bone one. Yeah, no. There's no bone one there. All right. We're just going to win. Let's take a free card. The Bloodhound. I really do like the Bloodhound. The Rattler, six bones. Yeah, we're going to go Bloodhound. And I think I have a... F no, wait. No, we did use uh, some of our bagged items, didn't we? A powerful item. Turn this and I'll skip my next turn. That's good. We'll take that. <laughs> Yo, Jay Sanders, what's going on? Your your typing skills are detor deteriorating. You gotta practice. Are we back on the boss fight already? Oh my god, we are. Jeez. Yo, Dragon, good to see you. No worries. Alright, you passed a massive empty bowl surrounded by heaps of unidentified giblets and scantings. 
It seemed the bowl was designed for a dog. But what earthly hound would require a meal of that size? Here's that hound of mine. Oh, where's that hound of mine? So this can be sacrificed for four bones. We're just going to take it right away. We'll put the squirrel down just so we can get uh, Wowza into the battlefield. Because Wowza is strong. And I want to try and just kill that coyote right away. Yeah, okay, we're going to be able to get rid of the coyote right away. That's really good. Nice. Is there a crater in my seat by the time the stream ends? <laughs> well, I would assume that I don't sit at my computer after the stream. <laughs> wow, we're doing really good already. I, I guess I'll just keep on attacking here. Because we're going to go right through. I think we can win right now. Yeah, this is a... Well, that's a just... I think we can just win. Oh, I have to draw something, do I? Yeah. Oh, wait, that's right. This is only one win so far. We're doing good, though. You're in bed with your phone? Yeah, that could be tough. Aim for the mule? Yeah, I should be aiming for the mule, but at this point... Oh, wait, that's right. He's gonna screw me over. Gold, I've struck gold. Oh, God. So I have squirrels. I have squirrels. I only have two, though, but let's see. So what do I... How do I get rid... I have no room on my board, right? So... I have to wait for them to attack, I guess? Alright, Cackle Gum, take it easy. I have so many bones, but I don't have creatures that need to be used. Like, I don't need to spawn them in with the bones. So I guess I'll do a squirrel and a squirrel and we will get the wolf in right there. Yee. Okay, we're going to get the packing mule this time. Right? So let's see what it gives us here. Moose would be good. My mule in her pack! Overkill damage. Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Lucky for you. Ooh, well that's kind of nice. Okay, my hand is getting large. I can't even... Oh my god, I can't even... How do I... I need to like build up... Can you build up blood or does it go from turn to turn? Interesting. So if I sacrifice the wolf, it gives me... I wanna, I'm wanna. i just going to like experiment a little bit here. Oh, I guess I need to draw something. The pelt. So if I put a squirrel down, and I want to put the moose out, I can sacrifice for two and one. Okay, I guess I would have to sacrifice everything. I see. There we go, and it just moved the gold in front of the coyote. The might of the moose cannot be halted. <laughs> that actually worked out really well. So... Squirrel. Squirrel. And then Bloodhound there. Oh, we did it! We finally did it!
Goes from turn to turn. All right, Robin, see you. Let me relight your candles. That's right, you relight those candles. Very well. Choose a rare card. Wait, I guess we've beaten him before. The uh, the amorphous amoeba. Its sigils are ever changing. Interesting. The stalwart mole man. The ultimate defense. Oh, so it's like a meat shield. The holy mantis. God. A perfect incarnation of terror. I'm thinking I'm going with Mantis God. Three, three way attacking. Heck yeah, we're taking that. That is so good. After the heroine encountered the prospector, you gather yourself and continue onwards. Okay, so now we're going back into the marshland, right? Let me see. Yeah, here we go. We're in the marshland. Buzzing and chirping of insects drown out the sound of your footfalls. You behold the wetlands. Yeah, we're back again. Hopefully we'll get farther this time. Corpse maggots. The inevitable maggot. They will lurch forth from your hand when you when your creatures are killed. And the bloodhound again. I'm gonna go with the corpse maggots just because we have no use of bones right now. So, Kirby is an amoeba. <laughs> the land of the moist. How appropriate. I think we got it. Yeah, we have a full inventory there. So why don't we go over to the fire? I think we're going to go to the campfire and see if we can't boost something up here. With health. Nice. <laughs> Please. No. I want the mantis. I think I want to deck out the mantis. Yes. They had an enhance the creature's health. There we go. That's pretty sick. Okay, let's see here. So we got a squirrel, the stoat, the moose buck again. We have the moose again. So three. Oh man, I kind of just want to do it. You know what? I might do it just for fun. I just want to do it for fun. Yeah, there we go. That's the moose out right away, turn one. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I think we can win right now. Right? <laughs> Total misplay. Oh, he, shut up. He doesn't know what I'm, well, he doesn't know. Look, we just won. That was not a misplay. Is the stoat the main card? Yes, it is. You rest your hand on Shift A W D and space. That's the natural. I mean, you're a true gamer, right? What is that way? I kind of just want to. Okay, we just used the. Uh, we just used the goat. So let's go to the right and see what we get here. A river otter, the mantis, the proud wolf, a vision. Why did you highlight me? Or that one? We'll go with another mantis. Yeah, if you keep going with the ringworm, I don't even have the option to keep going right now with the campers at the fire anyway. Oh, God. Oh, no. You can't use that. What? I just grabbed it anyway. I don't know what the hell that is, but we grabbed it. <laughs> what was that? What is in there? It's got a face. <laughs> it's me. Oh, okay. It's you. So we got Wowza. Wowza is too good to not drop first card, right? Yeah, I think we have to use Wowza. And it can defend against air as well. But I think what I'd sooner do is block the uh, egg from turning into a raven. I think I'd rather do that. Glowy Brain Jar. The living jello. Oh, God. It's alive. Wait, are we going to have to re-explain what Jello is to everybody? So we're up one. I think we'll take a creature out. The Moose Buck. Maybe. Okay, things are going to get out of hand here.
Hmm. I think we just keep on going. I don't know. He's a friend. You barely play any computer games anymore? Yeah, I know what it's like to like just get sick of gaming, you know? So I'm kind of just hoping to get the moose out. That's my goal right now, is to get the moose. So I think I'm going to go one more turn here. Because we're kind of just staying alive right now. This is going to hurt a lot. But that's okay. Because the goal now for me... Is to pull three squirrels. And we're going to lay them out like so. And this is the easiest way... That's the way to get the moose buck out and about. Just like that. Totally worth it, I'd say. Yeah, I like it. That's good. You're glitching. Are you going to try and glitch and win? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> so I feel like we could win now, right? We do six damage. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's just a straight up win. So we might as well just uh, get the stoat out for some overkill, I guess. Yep. Like that. And then that gives us a bit of overkill. Nice. The best you could get was 12 seconds. What is this to the right? Let's go. With, I don't know what that is, but we're going to go that way. You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke. Pass one of my trials and I will be yours, in a raspy voice. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again. But first you will choose a trial. The Trial of Blood. The three drawn cards must cost at least four blood combined to pass. The Trial of Kin. Two of the three drawn cards must be kin to pass. The Trial of Wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. I think we go with the four blood. You're not good enough to build on the fly. I think I'm just going to try the four blood. Let the trial of blood begin. One, four, six. Nice. You have passed the trial. Yeah, blood is good. Blood was the right choice. The beast revealed itself. It was. Ooh. Porcupine, elk fawn, coyote. So am I just picking one of these? So this is a flying porcupine. A flying defense elk fawn. And a coyote that moves to the right. I think I'm going to go with the coyote. Explosive launching. The inhabited coyote joined your menagerie. And we already have three items, so what's it going to do? Hmm. The amount of items you can carry is three and you have three. He's mad about that. Instead, perhaps you'll accept this gift from my friend? Oh god! A pack rat! The prudent pack rat never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. Okay. Um... I think I'm gonna go to the right, and we'll do a super fight. Flying porcupine sounds spooky. Yeah, don't want those evolving. Lucky draw. We always get him first anyway. Nothing lucky about it. So these guys are all going to move to the right. Oh, this is not going to be a good fight, is it? <laughs> this is not going to be a good fight. So I think what I do at this point is just skip my turn, right? And let them come out and do their damage. And I think I'm going to lose. <laughs> I think I've lost already, actually. I think 
I don't know if I wanted to get a stoat out right away or not. Because my idea was that I was going to get the uh, bloodhound out, but this might just have been a giant mistake anyway. Right? I don't know. Yeah. I thought so. <laughs> the other speed glitch... Don't be glitching! Left birds sound spookier. <laughs> Better than those right birds. So we're lucky. We can keep on going. They're being generous. Bullfrog, the beaver, and the river snapper. We'll take a river snapper. Thank you. And we're gonna make a new totem? I like the bones. You hunched down to place her offering in your pack. When you looked up again, the ancient woman had vanished. Okay, so we didn't finish the totem. I don't think I'm ready for this boss fight. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. Ooh. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish. So we got squirrel. The wowza. Oh, we got wowza? Heck yeah. You know we're going to drop wowza on the first turn. That's a given. Man. Which fish hard choose? So what's he going to do? He's going to take my guy, isn't he? Fresher fish, easy choose. So that means, okay, so he's going to choose whichever my recent, my most recent card is. Right? Oh, we just took one of the candles out already. You're two hours late. No worries, Rarefied. Good to see you, though. Go fish. So we can get the Bloodhound out, right? And we'll get him past the bait bucket. Oh, God. Oh, I think we won. I think we won. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, we just won. Hooey! He'll pick up the recent card place unless you put something else down. Yeah. If you kill the bucket, sharks come out. Yeah. That's rough. But I think we got pretty fortunate there. That was a decent win. The reward, a new rare card. There's the amoeba. The mole man. The long elk. I have no words for this freak of nature. I don't know what that is exactly. Long Elk. Let's take it. <laughs> Getting some strategies down. Am I, though? Nice. You considered one of the angler's catches as a meal, but the rank order deterred you. Dinner would have to wait. Let me think. Ooh, a new biome. A frigid gust of wind billowed unwelcome into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. You had ascended to the snow line. Looks like a millipede. <laughs> uh, let's go grab another card, I guess. The grizzly. Ooh, that's scary. I like the grizzly. Bone loop. Oh, that's the one that we made. It's useless. Let's grab the grizzly. I'm not taking that junk. You love inscription? Right on, poems. I've just started playing it, so it's, uh, it's still new to me. Your pack was full, but a small critter approached. Oh, it's another rat card. Another pack rat. I feel like I'm kind of, it's, I'm being punished for having a full hand, aren't I? I can't help but feel like I'm being punished. Let's go left. 
I have to use these more, I think. Ooh. Not a good start. Oh, we got the Mantis God, actually. We'll put that guy here. Because it's going to be right in front of those ones. And that's three hits, man. That's so good. The Mantis is just so good. The Long Elk, my god. Um, what do we want? I think we need to grab a squirrel. Even though there's not really much point in it. I don't know. So these guys made it. Oh god, that's not good. Yee. So I'll get the snapper out. And we'll take him out, I guess, there in the middle. Yee, that's not good. Scary elk. Wow! Wow, wow, wow! That didn't take long. Jeez! When will a worthy challenger appear? <laughs> wow, okay. That's not good. One, two, or three... Let's go with two. The adder. Okay. Rip the mantis overlord. What is this? What does this mean? You came across some familiar stones, but there was something different. You intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Oh god, so what is this gonna do? I just got the adder. I don't know what's about to happen. You know what? Let's put the corpse maggot in there. You callously slaughtered the corpse maggots. However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. A minor boon of the Bone Lord, you will start each battle with one extra bone. You shook off the viscera of the poor corpse maggots and carried onward. A free bone! Kill the adder? Well, too late. Okay, let's just do a normal fight. Like, what would the difference between a normal fight and, uh, like an enchanted fight be? Alright, we got some stuff out here. Ravens, man, this is getting tough. That's a normal mantis. I guess we will get the mantis out. Right there. I didn't mean to grab that. I should have probably grabbed a, uh... Definitely should have grabbed a squirrel. Hmm. Yeah, something tells me I'm gonna die. <laughs> something tells me I'm not gonna survive this one, guys. Total misplay. I know. And we die. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is tough. It's like it just screws you over. Have I done any puzzles yet? None of the major puzzles, no. Wow. That's tough. Time for a new death card. <laughs> Rip. Choose a card to draw the cost from. No cost is the best. The power and the health. Um, a no cost 1-6 is nice. And then we'll grab a sigil. The mantis. We're gonna call this one the mega mantis. <laughs> Is this a horror game? No, this isn't a horror game. It's creepy, yes, but I wouldn't say it's a horror game necessarily. And there we go. Another, yet another death.
Can you believe it? <laughs> okay, this is different. What the hell is going on right now? Oh, it's really... It wants me to do this puzzle now, doesn't it? Mega Mantis. <laughs> I think that the game wants me to do this puzzle. Oh. I had such high hopes for the last one. Why do I bother trying to teach you? You will learn as we go, or you will die. A gift from the angler. You see, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if you were to fall to the prospector before he was given that chance. This hook is powerful. You may steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you will not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. So I can just steal it! The wolf, the stink bug, the stoat, and the bullfrog. That puzzle is easy. So... I can move them up and down. And I, I'm assuming this is me, right? Okay, well that's pretty straightforward. The skink. I forgot that I put that there. Very well, you may add it to your deck and I'll deal you one every so often. So that's one of the lizard ones. And now we have another one here. So we need to do five again. That one you can't move. That one's completely stuck. Oh wait, I'm supposed to deal damage. All right, Milton, you take it easy. Have I checked the clock? No, I haven't checked the clock. I should try playing some Bad North? Yeah, I've never heard of that. So that's blocking one of the damage there. This one has to be there. So why is that doing one less? Okay, there we go. <laughs> we got some more cards. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well, I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challengers. Okay. Oh, we got even more puzzles. I think, let's go back to the board. We can do some more puzzles after. Okay, so we can control the hours and the seconds and the minutes. I don't know what time of day we're looking at here. What are you supposed to do in the game? Well, it's a card game, so you just kind of play against the NPC and uh, try and do your card battles and... I mean, obviously, ideally, you would win. Let's grab Moonbow! Moonbow's back! <laughs> Alright, let's go straight down the middle. I gotta start using my, uh, items. Am I your choice? I'm not too sure what this symbol is. Loose tail. When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Interesting. I think I'd rather get the stinky in there, though. Your choice. Actually, wait, is it too late? It is. It is too late. <laughs> it's on the chopping block. Let's just make Moombo better. You want the bee to come back? 
You spend hours trying to brute force the puzzles? I mean, so far the puzzles haven't been too bad. I mean, I've only done a couple of them, so maybe it's too early to tell just yet. We got the stoat again. Back on the board. Hmm. Push buttons and see what happens. Okay, so the porcupine deals damage back again. That makes sense. Well, that just makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Kind of want to use my emergency squirrel here, I think. Just to drop a wolf right here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Careful with your character card. If you make it too powerful, you might regret it later. Well, I mean, I've been I've had multiple character cards at this point, right? Tactical squirrel. <laughs> It looks fun and hard. Yes, I mean, this is an interesting one. The Mega Mantis. Let's grab our Mega Mantis. Hell yeah. That's awesome. And let's go to the right. Because this is a good one. I don't want to sacrifice Mega Mantis. So let's do the Bullfrog. <laughs> the Flying Defense Ability... We'll give it to the stoat. Let's supercharge the stoat. <laughs> Fine choice indeed. We got a, we got Mega Mantis right off the bat. So we're just going to play Mega Mantis. You know you got to play Mega Mantis. And we'll get the wolf out right away. And that fight's over! Mega Mantis is unimpressed. It's gonna take a lot to get Mega Mantis to start feeling the heat of the battle. Excuse me. I hardly have any, so let's just forget about it. Oh, let's go back to the, uh, little back to the shrine, I guess. We'll just put the skink down, I guess. Why not, right? And we will imbue it to the Mega Mantis. It's a Super Mega Mantis! Well, there's Mega Mantis already. We are getting those Mega Mantis, aren't we? So we'll put Me Mega Mantis right there. Easy choice. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. The tail of a on a Mega Mantis, oh my god, that's very powerful. Hello! Welcome home! <laughs> so we're gonna take out that pronghorn right away. We're not gonna let that pronghorn do anything right now. There we go. Look at that. It's so good. The attacking, the Mega Mantis is so good. Have I tried Ark? Um, nope! I haven't tried Ark, actually. Not really my kind of game. I think we just win this one, right? So much damage. 
And the overkill. Jado is back in the hizzy. What is this? You encountered a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? May I see your pelts? <laughs> Those are the... I can trade you any of these. Take your time. So I trade this one pelt for one of these? Is that the idea? Do I even... want that? I, get, I want the alpha. I think I want that alpha. So we can boost up more DPS. The tail does damage? Yeah, apparently the tail is just like a copy of the card that it attacked already or something. I don't know. 